Hello everyone, welcome to IMS Skate Academy. My name is Rohit and I am a CS mentor at this IMS Skate Academy. Fine. So this PGEE notifications has come. Any student who is interested in this uh, PGEE examinations can fill up the forms and appear into this examination. Fine. So let's discuss that before going to fill the application form of this PGEE, what are the things that you need to be considered. Okay. Now see, this PGEE examinations, okay, post-graduate entrance examinations, PGEE, is conducted by the triple IDs. Fine, basically, this PGEE examinations is for admissions into the following programs. We are having two programs offered under this PGEE exam. Okay, one is, first one is Masters, okay, Masters of Technology, MTech program, which is based on coursework. See here, which is based on coursework. So, what is this coursework? Basically, this coursework is nothing but means during of that two years of complete programs, you are having some course and you need to complete that course and for that completion of the course, we will getting the credit, okay? And at the end, we will getting, as soon as you complete all the course works, then definitely we will get the degree for the MTech, fine? Other program is the Masters of Science and then we are having Doctors of Philosophy, it is PhD program, okay? Which requires some course works along with having this some course works. It is also having completion of some research status and you need to publish some papers. Getting my point? So, under this PGEE examinations, we are offering this, means this, under this examinations, we are having this uh, two program. In the two programs, you can take the admissions and you can complete and you can take, take the degree here. Fine. Now, see, here, next is our duration of the program here. So, this MTech program is of two years. Then, Masters of Science by Research is also of the two years. And this PhD program is of the five years. Okay. These are the duration of the given programs under this PGEE. Fine. Next is our, see, programs, exams and eligibility. Now here see, this is very important, okay. So here, this says here, minimum grade criteria is nothing but 60%, 60% or the equivalent into the qualifying degree. So here, these are nothing but here, it is a mention the qualifying degree. So under this qualifying degree, for the respective, okay, program, minimum you should have 60% or the equivalent means if you are having some grading system then definitely you have either the equivalent grades that is equivalent to the 60% okay would be needed for the admissions into all programs mentioned in the table here fine so now we'll see one by one that what are the programs we are having under this PGEE and what are their requirements fine now see the first program here is nothing but MTech programs fine so under the MTechs we are having this okay under this MTechs we have this four disciplines. The first discipline is Computer Science and the Engineering, CSE. Then, see, under uh, for this discipline, Computer Science and Engineering, CSE, the eligibility criteria is B, BTEX, ME, MTEX, all branch can have, can appear for this, okay, disciplines or MSc, MCA, MA in the maths, okay. Now, here, for this discipline, MTEX program, for this discipline here, CSE, that subject test means here for this getting into the admissions into this MTEX, this discipline, first discipline, Okay, the test is nothing but CSE, the technical part will be the CSE and one will be our GA, that is our general aptitude. Okay, now the second discipline under the MTech is nothing but computer science and the information security. So for that again, the eligibility is nothing but same only here, only we have already discussed in all these degrees, the minimum requirement is your 60% degree. Okay, 60% your marks will be there, fine qualifying degree is fine. Then again, again, to get into the admission into this discipline of this MTech, the subject test will be CSE, the technical part, and then we are having the general aptitude, followed by general aptitude, fine. Next year, we are having this MTech for the third discipline is having computer added structural and engineering CS, CASE here, fine. So for that discipline, your qualifying degree must be either BE, BTech in the civil engineering, fine. So only the civil engineering students can apply into the here, M Tech into the discipline of CASE here. Now, the admission process will be nothing but your GEO, general aptitude, and the civil technical part, civil technical syllabus. Understood? Now, the fourth discipline is here is product design and the management, PDM here. Now, see, be careful here. So, the qualifying degree is here. It says here, bachelor degree in engineering technology design science or equivalent that bachelor degree must be of the four years program okay after your 10 plus 2 or the master's degree in science computer applications that is of the two years program means after your whatever the bachelor degree you're having either that bachelor degree of four years or we can say master degree of the two years programs after your 10 plus 2 after this, see, this is 10 plus 2 and this plus 3 is nothing but, this is nothing but any, any course, we can say diploma course. So, after diploma course, if you are having a master's course 
of this two years program, then you are eligible for the PDM. Okay, getting my point now? And along with that, it says here at least one year industry inter uh, internship experience in the product development is recommended. However, freshers will uh, will be considered here. Means if you are having freshers, if you don't have any industry experience, then uh, still you are eligible. But if you are having, then it will add some value here. Fine. And again, again, the admission process for this discipline is nothing but it's just CSE, technical part will be CSE, and then here is GA part. GA part is nothing but general aptitude. Fine. So we are having the four under this, okay, MTech, MTech, okay. We are having this four under this MTech program. This four disciplines are there. Under this four disciplines, you can take and the admission process are same only here. You need to go through this CS, uh, that is technical subject test and the GA. Fine. So these are nothing but the MTech here. Okay. Now if I talk about the PhD, okay, MS and PhD, see here. So this complete, okay, this complete four courses are for the MS or the PhD. If someone uh, wants for the MS, then it's it, it can go for these four disciplines here. These four disciplines are for the Masters of Science and otherwise or PhD. Okay. Now here see the first course is Computer Science and Engineering. That is our CSC. Here the qualifying thing is same only. Okay. B, B Tech, M, E, M Tech, all branches here. Then we are having MSc, MCN, MA. If we are having this math, fine. Then here again see the subject test here. The test is nothing but same only. One will be technical CSE and that is nothing but here GI is here that, uh, our general aptitude. Understood? Now the second discipline is here electronics and the communications engineering ECE. Here, here again everything is same here. If you are having any qualifying degree BE, BTEC, ME, MTech, all branches, okay, then MSc, MCA, MA, Maths, then you can eligible for this, okay, discipline here under the MS or the PhD. Okay, now here to get into this discipline here, then again the subject test here, technical part must be of E, C, E, and nothing but the next thing but our GA. Okay, then the third discipline is civil engineering here. So if you want to, uh, if you want to perform the MS or PhD in the civil engineering, then your B uh, or means you can say here the qualifying degree must be of the B, B Tech in the civil engineering. And here also the subject test will be the technical part will be civil and the next is nothing but our GA, our general aptitude. And the last one is nothing but bioinformatics. Okay, if you want to perform the MS or PhD in the bioinformatics, then here your degree must be qualifying degree must be MSc in the fundamental science, ME, M Tech, B, B Tech in CS, IT, biotech, bioinformatics or Biomed or MCA. If we are having this degree, any qualifying degree, then you are eligible for the discipline for the MS or PhD. And here again, if you are having this degree and if you want to get into the admission into this bioinformatics course, MS or PhD, then the only requirement is here, you need to only go through the subject test of GA. Means you need to just, just appear into the GA and if you qualify the GA, then you can go for the means after this qualifying, we will see here, there will be an interview round. Okay, after this interview, you can get into the admission into the MS or PhD into the bioinformatics. Understood? Fine. So these are the four disciplines for the MS or PhD. Now if I talk about the next year is, okay, the PhD, PhD course here, then we have again, again in this PhD program, Okay, we have this four disciplines here. One, two, three, four. Sorry, five disciplines here. So one is the computational, okay, linguistics here, CL. This is nothing but for this discipline here, the qualifying degree is BE, BTEC, ME, MTEC, all branch. Okay, the only thing is the only change is here. If you want to perform the PhD under this disciplines here, then under this here, for this PhD, okay, the subject test here that need to be appear into, that is nothing but only the, okay, GA part. Okay, be careful here. For the PhD, okay, the subject test is nothing but the GA. And for the last discipline, that is our human science, for these disciplines, th there is no subject test. The only requirement is here, if you want to get into the human science, the only requirement is you need to fill the forms and you just need to appear into the interview. If you pass the interview, then you can take the admission into the human science here. Understood? So these are nothing but the disciplines offered under the PhD. Fine. And here GA is nothing but our general aptitude. Fine. Now, the next important part is our examinations date. See here. Date of examinations is the 19th April 2025 and timing will be nothing but here. Okay. 2 to 5 p.m. Understood. Now here, the eligible applicants of each program need to appear for the computer-based examinations conducted by IIIT Hyderabad as shown in above table the exam will be held in multiple centers and the center list are given here if you check the center list here exam centers list here fine 
So broadly, I can say here, exam center list contain means it it cover almost all the states. Okay, if you are having anywhere, you can definitely easily can uh, appear into the examinations. It covers almost all the I, I think 26 states are already covered here. Almost all major states are covered. You can easily fill the forms and appear into the examinations. Fine. So these are the examination center. You can just go through the list here. And here we are having the syllabus and detail for the examinations is here. Fine. So we have the syllabus. We'll, we'll discuss, we'll take one more separate videos for the syllabus and how to prepare the PGW examinations. Okay. But here this is the syllabus, complete syllabus part here. We'll discuss one more. Fine. Then after this again, it says here admission for the MTech program is solely based on the written exam, which involves general aptitude and the subject test. Means if you, if you want to get admissions for this mtech program mtech program is it is a two years course program okay two years course program then for that program here mtech program the only requirement is the subject test okay there is no interview there is no interview for the mtech program fine so for this mtech program there is no interview understood no interview the only requirement is here the written examination that is involved the general aptitude followed by the subject test fine then the other program is the ms or phd applicants will need to go through an additional interview process okay so for the ms okay for the ms or we can say for the research purpose okay that ms students or the phd disciplines that need to be have additional interview process and along with the written examination so first written examination and we have all seen the syllabus part here subject test if you are having the phd then the written examination only connected for the general aptitude fine like that okay now here next is about the last one is here if you want to fill the okay application form the applications fee is nothing but is of 3000 and this is a non refundable fees here applications are open you can go and fill the okay just click on this link it will be open if you want to for the mtech you can click the link and fill the form here fine and exam dates are okay exam dates are already given here see exams application portals are open from the 12th february and the last applications portal will be closed on the 26th of march so please fill the application form before that 26th of march okay fine and the interest, uh, interest exam will be nothing but 19th of april and here after this we are having 10th and 11th june is fixed for the masters of science for okay by research interview means if you want to get into the disciplines for the ms or the phd then the interview schedule on the 10th or 11th of june then phd interview schedule on the 12th or 13th of june like that we are having the uh, interview after that the result will be announced and you can uh, get into the okay admission into the different different programs okay so i hope you understood everything we'll take one more def uh, separate videos that how to prepare for the pgw examinations based on the different different branches okay so all the best bye bye take care